Today we are checking out Moveit and what it can do to improve your City Skylines gameplay. Hello peeps, Struggle here. welcome back to another episode of Mod Spotlight. So this is Moveit's Mod Options menu. What you really should change is use the Advanced Pillar Control. Moveit Mod is a very powerful mod so I'm not going to go through all the settings in here. Here coming all the shortcuts and down here you have other mod integration. Whenever you are questioning what something does, just hover over it and it will tell you. Let's get into what it can do in game. This is the move it mod and before we can do anything, we need to select something to move. For example, this building. While holding shift, you can add more items to your selection. Then by clicking one of those objects in the selection, you can move them around. And while a selection is active, you can rotate it using the right mouse button. And you can always use Control c to revert your changes. Using page up or page down you can change the elevation and with holding shift you can increase or decrease them in greater steps. Beware though when moving objects over big distances that not all the effects are following the objects. Here the initial pond gets drained and the other pond for the dumpster water does not get filled up. Instead it uses its original position. As you can see, this pond fills up and here on this road where the buildings were, those are still occupied. If you want to select multiple items at the same time, you could use the marquee tool. So basically you select a category. Note that pillars and stones are also considered buildings. Props are these smaller 3D objects. The surface thingies are considered decals. Strangely, they also react to when selecting surfaces. If you know more about the distinction between those two, please let me know in the comments. Trees should be pretty self-explanatory. Notes, select all the notes. And segments, selects the segments between the notes. With follow the terrain activated, you make stuff stick to the terrain height instead of just cutting into a hill. With toggle snapping activated, you could pretty much draw exactly straight roads or make roads follow a given angle or also have nodes exactly snap onto other nodes. We can also create duplicates of our selection which we then can place. While having a selection active and right clicking the mouse button we can turn the selection in 45 degree angles and everything we can select we can also delete. This nice triangle here is the toolbox and here for example we have high tools. So we have selected the building and we could bring it to the same height of this node. Or we could bring it to the same height as the terrain. Or for example if we have a road like this and we want to have a smooth slope, we can just slope the road. Let's study a few rotational things. So here we can rotate the selected objects randomly. Rotate at center will pick a spot in the center of those four objects and then align it to another object. And then we can also rotate them in place, which also requires a reference. So those are all aligned in the same angle. If we move the entire selection, you'll see that this will exactly fit. We can also line them up. We could mirror them, which again needs a reference. Reset objects allows us to remove problems with an object or also changing colors. There's also the option to set an object's position which is kind of misleading because this also serves as a readout. And then one of the most powerful options of Moveit is the ability to import or export a selection. For example, I have a little rail circle here or there is an entire site called allbuilds.org from which you can get stuff like this beautiful bridge made by Teddy Ratko. Well, now I would have to of course do some fixing, but you know, it's great to share such stuff on a site just as move it exports or imports. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you liked it and we see each other next time. Bye guys.